Good morning. Today's painting will be on this sketchbook that I got from Ikea a long time ago. I think the paper is like rice paper. It looks like I got it in 2020. It's practicing my handwriting on here. And so, this is with a dip pen. Just trying to find a blank page. Okay. Here we go. All right. So, the paper is like a weird mixture. It feels like rice paper or some kind of handmade paper. I'm not sure, but. Actually, I want to try the other side because it's a little bit rougher. Let's see how it goes. I have my water here, inks. They're not inks, they're liquid watercolor and some regular watercolor. <clears throat> I am actually, it's early in the morning here, just waiting for. Um, my son to finish breakfast so that I can take him to school. As you can see, I'm just smushing paint. I'm using red pigment here. It's not moving as much as I would like it to, but that's okay. Maybe we'll throw in some orange. Can't really tell the difference. Handy dandy tissue. See if you can see it. Oh, there. Add some green. I'm also just seeing how the um, inks work with this type. I keep saying inks. The um, watercolors work with this type of paper. I like it so far. I also like it when it splatters a little. Moving closer. Right. I need some purple to the side and you might hear the noises in my house. It's just house noise. Family walking around in the morning. Trying to be loose and experimental. Yep, just smushing paint around. This is going to be a rose-ish. Add some dark leaves at the bottom. This is actually brown, but I accidentally mixed black with it, so inside the tube itself so or the acrylic holder so everything's looking a little too dark but that's okay this is the blue green I love how 
acrylic's flowing everywhere, but this is kind of going a little too crazy, so I'll dab it. That's how I normally stop the spread. Let's see, it looks like it needs some defining marks. Does that look like an iris? That's what I was going for, but I think it might not be as flowy, but that's okay. So yeah, if I have time in the morning, I do my practice. I don't always have time in the morning, but it feels good to get the painting done early. Especially if it's been like a, a challenging week. Hmm. Thinking as I'm going here. I kind of love these like leaves that just smush down. They look like, uh, like you don't have to do much to them, but they're leaves. Maybe a red flower over here. I think I've been picking up the, oh no. Is that the coral? I may have mislabeled my paints. Can't tell. That seems lighter than red. So I'm using a number eight Princeton Velvet Touch. This is looking empty down here, so I'll probably add some colors. Watercolors from Holbein. A link to everything. In the description. Use some of the paints from up here. making another iris blob. Okay. Still going. It was looking a little empty down here, so I'm just adding some more colors. A lot of dancing happening. Water is so powerful. We have this little place. <clears throat> In a cottage um, and every time the mountain kind of you know when it's springtime all this water comes from the mountain down to our driveway and it just really does a number on the driveway like my husband has to spend so much time trying to fix the driveway and fill it back in because <laughs> the water just is so powerful it just does its own thing and usually these are just first layers I may come back and do some more later but or not these are just practice pages
So I encourage you to, even just for a few minutes, I don't know, it's been 10 minutes, um, 10 minutes a day, you can get a lot done in 10 minutes when it comes to art. Um, try to get some practice in. Like I said, I'm just take my son to school, so he's eating breakfast right now, just waiting for him to finish. And then we are off to school. Am I done? I'm not sure if I'm done yet. Almost done. You also don't have to fill every page, but, or every cult corner of the page but I just like doing that feels like I'm not wasting any paper when I'm filling everything in yep I don't know if you can hear that that's my dog I think I kind of messed it up a little bit by adding these weird <clears throat> gangly leaves, but that's okay. All right, so I guess I'll stop right there for now because I think I have to go. But yeah, so in the mornings, oh, this is a watercolor, dear one, watercolor ink tense goes great right on top of watercolors. I should have gotten purple though, but I did not. It gets kind of messy, so just check your hands that you don't have so much paint on them that you accidentally spread it to your clothes or whatever. But yeah, I just like using these for added details just to define because sometimes everything's so loose that you or that I lose like what I'm working on all right so just finishing up here I love using these for oh dog is snoring. I love using this for like, you see how it just glides across so well on top of the paint? I love that. And these are the Dear Went Ink Tents pencils. Mm, yeah, so I think that's it for me for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you have time to create today.